Facebook afterwards, it wasn't my knowing list. Okay, there we go. <coughs> okay, so the game is a French mirror in um Kamachka? Uh, Kamchatka, Kam and they are Kamchatka. actually orange and red, so that will be uh, <laughs> hard to tell apart. Yeah, it's okay. It's not the worst uh, color. Yeah. Um, so in the top right, uh, top left, I guess, top left, we have um, Kiljardi as French, and in the bottom right, we have <coughs> um, Total Chaos, Eco A, Bobabu playing as. French as well. It's a 200 wood start, so um, <coughs> I ex I accept Bobaba to go for a TP at least uh, and kill Jardy. Um, only maybe. Okay. He, uh, he he's not as familiar, I think, with the new meta, and we can see him. He's not going for the TP no, immediately. Isn't. So I expect a market start from Kill Jardy actually. Def so that's definitely. interesting. Kiljardi also not scouting the middle ASAP, so he doesn't know the map as well either. While we see Bobabu scout going for the middle to pick up those four, four um, goats and to check for the treasures which are usually in the middle. But r this spawn, the good treasures are on the side. Yeah, and uh, it's nice to pick up those uh, goats. You can see that Kiljardi is not familiar with the map or the new meter. Yeah. But Bubba Bao is, and he's he's like <laughs> he's famous for his uh, spamming APM. <laughs> yeah, I know, <coughs> but he's not uh, particularly effective in my opinion. No, not n I don't like his style either. It's it's just too much spam. Yeah. Like I saw a game where he was going to upgrade for a veteran longbows, and he tossed all three barracks before he tossed the veteran longbows. That's so wasteful. But it gives a lot of APM though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, both oh. players picking up a wood treasure. Yeah, and <coughs> maybe there will be some action. Both have full HP now. Um, about took some damage here from. Uh, yeah, Charles but Scott, he yeah. he was he was too far to really be in any trouble. Yeah. Um, both like um, Kiljardi picked up fifty woods. Bobabu picked up forty wood. Also, the sheep count is pretty much similar. Well, actually, no. There's only one sheep. Uh, one <laughs> goat. Two goats. No, no, it's the Three same. Goats. It's yeah, four it's goats. about the same. It's four goats for both of them. Oh yeah, because now he picked up those. Yeah, so yeah. it's pretty much the same. Uh, he did have a monkey in the b in the beginning, so that does help to pick up uh, those goats. Yeah, there is still one goat left uh, on the mine there, and another one at the other mine. Yeah, there's two, two on each side. Um, the both players missing the the 85 wood, which is surprising to me because um, they have scouts, so. Yeah, they have scouts, so they should have seen it. Uh, both playing players now going to contest the wood treasure. Mm, and the food treasure. Uh, food treasure, sorry. And I think Kiljardi knows that Bobabu was close, and Bobabu... He wasn't uh, paying attention. Yeah, he wasn't paying attention, Probably so he tried spamming. to move in to kill it, to s uh, steal it, but he uh, wasn't able to. Um, and Actually, I think um, Kiljardi is a little bit ahead in economy. Yeah, because he has the early market start. And he did a turkin with a drage up. He's aging right now. Yeah, because he picked up that food, so he aged 13 villagers. So, um, Kiljardi a little bit ahead here, oh. I feel. There is a really bad macro. Yeah, he, bad he, They were w walking around a lot without collecting resources. Bad herding a little and bit there from... And he's up uh, yet, he's really slow. He's not gonna age for another 100 food. Really? Yeah, he's really Why? slow. And because he messed up his macro, like I said. There oh, he is. He's that's up now. strange. Uh, so, um, the Tokeos Bobabu, aka being about 10 to 15 seconds slower than normal, because uh, he didn't hurt properly. Um, Kiljardi, on the other hand, being up um, 15 seconds faster, so that's a 30 second difference, uh, and that's quite a lot. Yeah, uh, he's, and we it's 60 towards uh, 26 in age up time now. So yeah, so it's about 30 seconds, yeah, give so or take. Yeah, so a lot, but he's he, he's a TP down though. He is a TP down, but he's going to be aggressive and um, he's going for um, musk 
I'm not sure. It looks like a Pike Bow Rush right now. Um, yeah, we'll have to see if he switches off off uh, wood. wood. Yeah, but yeah. I, this is very much wood collected for a uh, musk rush. Actually, yeah. normally so, you don't collect wood for a uh, musk. And, uh, and I think I think the TP will not matter too much because it's a thirty second difference. And if he does like enough damage, like for the first two shipments, the TP is not gonna make too much of a difference, no, right? It it's gonna matter in the third shipment is what you're gonna get a lot faster. Barak's going now, and uh, yeah. he just found the uh, eighty-five wood treasure. Yeah, and he's still he's still on wood, so definitely Bo Pike coming in. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure too. There is no coin, so there has to be Bo Pike. Mm -hmm. That's mm, not. I think good. that's good because yeah. um, he is thirty seconds faster, and we mo like Bobabo hasn't scouted it yet, so most likely we will see him going for your standard stable start, right? Yeah, he should, and there he's up. And um, if that happens, then he can be in quite a lot of trouble. Yeah, I like that he didn't go for a double TP. It's not nice when you play. No, with so you can't really do that in a mirror. No. And he's starting stable, as I as I thought. So um, he might be in trouble. The first five pikes are out already, and uh, I think they'll go for the TP. Yeah, it looks like they go for the TP. That's and the good choice. And he can't defend it because. Uh, you you can't call Minutemen for five pikemen. No, you can't, and it's it's like even if if you do, they just run away and then they come back like thirty seconds later and still kill the TP. Yeah, so it's it's useless. So Kiljar uh, Kiljardi really has to be a little bit careful with these vills here, because um, five cav will come out. Yeah. And uh, he will still be able to get raided and he didn't hurt the best either it's like uh, this hunt could be a lot closer to his town center uh, he still does have like five goats or four goats in his base Ten uh, coming in. that he can use yeah um, I'm not sure if I like that ten bows I, I guess it's alright um, now yeah. we should train like mostly pikemen you should try and try and kill this that villager yeah Try and get some shots off. Uh, Bobabo has forgot the. Both are upgrading great coat as we speak. Okay. Bobabo is now out to raid, but uh, we can see the experience from Kiljardi kicking in, and he's sending five pikes back. Yeah, but, but he goes for the FB wheels. Uh, Kiljardi, yeah. Kil <laughs> sorry, Total Case is also smart. He knows that most likely uh, oh, it's okay. harder to raid in base. So he's going for the forward base fills, oh. but um, Kil uh, Kiljardi is back in time, and he's gonna try to sur surround him, but um, he will not be able to. Um, and now two mm. barracks is being dropped here by by Bobabu, and this is really the moment for uh, for for Kiljardi to push. And if he if he pushes into those barracks right now, as Ooh. he seems to be doing, Ooh. he can actually kill one. And Calf being uh, killed there as well. So. Uh, oh, this is not looking good for Bobo. Yeah, it's really going bad. He's gonna he's Only gonna one lose cap. one Rex. He's gonna lose one Rex. Yeah, definitely. He did send eight bows, so uh, he might be able to defend here. But uh, Kiljardi has ten bows of his own. And and his Cav is still getting snared. Yeah, he's and coming he's with losing the goats. one more I, He's blocking his. <laughs> Minute men are out and the Vils are out, but he's just taking so much damage here. Yeah. He might, he might. Uh, I don't think, I don't fight. think he didn't lose that much. He's, he's still ahead in economy, so it. Uh, he did lose like a barracks, and he lost like a lot of calf. I feel. Mm, I don't think lost, this is going to be He lost two calves, and he, and um, I don't think uh, it wasn't oh, he, that bad. Look at the he scores. Lost, he lost four cavalry because he had six, and now he has only two, but yeah. one is like 24 HP. Yeah, that's true. And he did pull villagers for like a minute, right? I mean, it's not like he's dead, but he did he did take quite a lot but of damage. But he, he has a lot better market techs. Okay. He um, has steel traps. And oh my god! Do they both have steel traps or no? Not? No, no, no. Only Bobao. Okay. That's surprising. I would expect. Um, and they have the same amount of villagers. Uh, and uh, now Kilari uh, is wasting a lot of units right now. Yeah. So. Kilari should should transition out of um, oh. Expo Pike right yeah. now. He should he should Doesn't start slow. making Musketeer and Cavalry, drop a stable as he's doing right now. Um, yeah, he needs a base. And he still has his five pikemen camping there. And if uh, Bubao just goes a little bit to the right now, he will find four villagers unprotected. Yeah. But he's not he's not he's not watching the map right now, so he's going to the wrong side. Uh, Kiljardi should be careful. There are five cav in the base and still like Seven bows alive and Bobabo training bows now, so ten, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, it's gonna lose a villager. 
Kiljardi's still training bows as well, though, so... Let's see he's if he... in the book out. Yeah, but he's behind... Oh, it's equal now in economy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice rating there from Bobabu to pick off a vil. Yeah. Um, not the best hurting from Kiljardi, but um, he's making an outpost. Oh my god, why? He's I don't like that He's on 3 cap now, right now. Uh, I don't like this Ooh. this at all from Kiljardi. Where is the outpost? He should oh, uh, near his base. Yeah, <laughs> where he has really five pipes. Where he has five pike already. So oh, oh. There is a lot of action going on right now. Yeah. He sh uh, should be able to. gonna get. Uh, he's gonna lose them both, I think. For sure, he's gonna lose them both. And no, uh, one, one. But the one, next one is going to be picked out later, so. Yeah. He's still making pike bows. He's making two cav and sent three cav, so he has now five cav. Um. I think he should start making musketeers now. Then he's okay because he's ahead in the in the bow count by quite a lot. He's two barracks against one. Um, I don't think Bobabu can age. No, he, he can't. Has, he yeah, has he isn't even out. close. But he, if he sends um, 700, sends coin. 700 coin, he just did that, so he isn't aging. No, he is committed to age two play since he yeah. used up his coin. Oh, oh, whoa! Did you see that? Mm, did uh, did you go back for the cav? You mean? It was like, yeah, it, uh, he has was just about to snare his cav. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, there is also an engagement uh, in the arm yeah. base here. I think this is fine actually for for uh, kill Jardy. He has a lot of pikes and a lot of bows. But there are coming three cav from behind right now. Yeah, so that's this gonna will be, be problematic. Nasty. But if he's making any pikes right now, then he's okay. Yeah, he is. Not the best macro from Bobabu here, actually. Uh, he could have done a lot better there. Yeah, he was a bit too afraid to go in with his cavalry, in my opinion. And now... Um, He's pulling villagers with him. He uh, needs another pop. Uh, 600 wood comes for Bobabu. And the cav is going on the wrong side of that little pound for a kill Jardy. I think it's fine, actually. There's not that much cav alive. This, and, this um, match is really even right now. Yep. Depends on uh, what you need. Oh, only two musks pop for uh, for uh, Bobo. Bobo. Yeah. Let's see what he has in care. Oh, ten, ten musks. Here. Yeah. So this is this is now swinging back into Kiljardi's favor. Yeah, with I, the don't ten like, I don't like I don't like the uh, villager pool there. It's too offensive. And uh, he loses all his uh, goats right now. <laughs> yeah, he does. That, that's really bad, actually. That's that's like yeah, that's uh, a lot of food. Six hundred food. Yeah. Um, it wasn't needed, I think, to pull the villagers. No, uh, no, no, no. Oh, that's so painful to watch the goat stealer Kiljardi. <laughs> yeah, and Kiljardi notices it. He brings back the goats. He already ate his own goats, so. Um, that's handy for him. They yeah. are 200 food by the time they get back, and eight and, crossbows and arrives for yeah, Kiljardi. And now he ships eight bows as well. So Kiljardi uh, is uh, macroing better, it seems. I think Bobab was a bit down on his macro maybe because he pulled the vills but mm. only right two now, musketeers right being trained right now uh, Bobao has four villagers doing uh, something okay 50 now yeah they were walking all the way to the food but there's very little food there so he's not hurting very well no, the, the, he's in bad position right now the, it's the same still the same in eco but uh, Kiliardi has a big uh, military advantage right now mm -hmm. And as you can see here, his villagers aren't uh, collecting properly. Yeah, I know. And that's really annoying because they don't show up as idle. <laughs> I know. But you should suspect that when you are around the cliff because it's often it bugs. But yeah. Bugs out. Cavalry combat coming in for uh, Kiliardi. <laughs> his build order is really a bit random, but he, he has like, I think, three cavalry and he's sending cavalry combat. But uh, on the other hand, uh, he is winning, so... Um, he's probably making more uh, us anyway. Yeah, 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 of course he's making more. But uh, he might, he hasn't shipped 700 coin yet, so, so I think he can maybe still that... age. Yeah, but, true. I but he isn't even close, but I think he will go for age now, because he has oh. like 20 people on, uh, on uh, food. I don't think he will age, actually. He's, he's quite known for playing uh, very colonial and aggressive. So um, I, I I just expect more cavalry here and yeah, I agree. Uh, he should pull back from this fight because with all the vills there he can't win it um, and he's picking off the vills instead of the army so um, not the smartest move here either mm, um, but now he's he's, he's, he's killing the villagers ahead though so he's yeah yeah 
but you should be careful always in such situations because um, like right now it's okay because he has the military advantage but we can see the cavalry flank here coming in as well and he's losing quite a lot of army um, but well, I don't well, think you that don't have all these crossbows in, in the fight so and I'll also fight not being idle this is the last stand for sure um, yeah most likely we will see a GG coming in as also a raid here in the bottom is uh, happening yeah, he's gonna lose more villagers. He's gonna he's lose almost ten villagers behind now. He's gonna lose three more vills there. I'm sorry. Man. And uh, Kiljardi is uh, keeping up the pressure. He's not letting go. He hasn't trained much in the last few seconds though, so perhaps he's aging no, on he's the edges as well. He or isn't. No. Oh, uh, he's making ten more musketeers. So probably soon we will see a batch of cavalry <gasps> coming as well. Was that a sneeze? <laughs> Hiccup. <laughs> you sound like you got scared. <laughs> I like. <laughs> Look here. Yeah. Um, one poor, explorer. Poor, poor this back. guy. He's drowning. Yeah. And good game there from Bobabo. He knows yeah. he's too far behind, and to resign. So 1-0 for Kiljardi. Uh, I guess quite expected since France is his best save, and he was uh, really quite good with them and uh, brave choice by Total Chaos t uh, to uh, fight the mirror, but I don't think if it was the smartest decision. Perhaps mm. he would have done better if he had gone German. Yeah, and he, he didn't... The, the reason he lost was his unit control, I think, or his timing. I'm not, I'm not, I was not a fan of his unit control and timing this game. He should have uh, been more c uh, cold with the um, Minutemen, I think. He should have his cab nearby to snare, so he can use the full effect of the militias. Yeah. Well, he kind of had to call Minutemen there because otherwise he was gonna lose his barracks, is right? Mm, I I think he could. He would have lost that one barracks anyway, so we couldn't just. Yeah, 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 he did, but he had to fight them off. But, it, but that was essentially uh, a misplacement of barracks. He should have placed them much closer to the town center. Yeah, maybe, but I don't think it would have mattered that uh, much actually. I think he would have because gotten he, both of he them was still being built, so. Yeah. <laughs> Stop beating him and <laughs> uh, The second map will be Baya, California, and it will be interesting okay. to see I what. Need, uh, I need to host. Uh, oh, you need to give it to them? Yeah. Okay. I think this is the correct version. Uh, you need to give them 2.6, I think. Mm, nah, that's Bengal. No, uh, Baya too. Bengal has been fixed, Baya not, I think. Right. I have... Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, let's see what uh, kind of map he has. Yeah, he's 2.06, uh, so it's okay. Just join up, we are ready to go. Okay. What's the sieve rules again? I need sieve, but French now. I haven't seen a lot of water play on this map yet. No, only Kinesi, as far as I know. <laughs> yeah. And he I, did I was considering French. water play, but I rather play French on this map. Mm -hmm. Kiljardi picking Germans. And let's see what uh, Bobabu picks now. We might actually see another mirror. Yeah, we are. No. So both players are uh, relying on their best sieves here. Yeah. I no, thought uh, uh, Kiljardi was good with um, British as well. Uh, yeah, I d I, he's mostly with the vanilla sieves, that's what uh, his main uh, his main strength. <coughs> but on this map, I guess maybe German is a little bit better because it doesn't have that many hunts in your base. That's true, and also there is uh, three TPs to get hold of, so... Mm -hmm. And you can control all the whole route if you uh, apply some pressure. 
undo some small walls in the cliff segments in the middle of the map. Yep. And it's a hundred wood start, so that's probably in favor of uh, Kiljardi because uh, I don't know if he would have taken a TP no. with Germans as well. <laughs> no, I doubt it. So it's, it's and in a German mirror, it makes a lot more difference than in a French mirror, I think. Yeah, it does. And uh, the thing is, I, uh, I st when I played versus um, Goodspeed yesterday, I was actually shopping for a TP with only one hundred wood for a start. <laughs> that was and you are France. Yeah. I did did you get any treasures? Mm, no. Oh, that's then you were really slow. No, I was yeah, I was 15 mils, but it, I, it was versus Japan, so I. Yeah, so it's okay. So it's okay. Yeah, but you couldn't really do that in some other matchups. No, I don't think so. It will be only versus Japan or maybe Dutch. And China maybe too. Yeah, depends um, on the style you want to bring to the game. Uh, did it, picking up some s really small coin treasures, like 10 yeah. coin. <laughs> But uh, Kiljardi going for a 120 XP now, and on Bobabu's side there's a 80 wood, but he didn't see it. Where is... oh, there he is. I didn't find the Orange Explorer. He's Ninja on this map. Yeah. And... Bobabu is going that way, but I think he will be too late. Yeah, he will definitely be too late. Yeah. And this uh, treasure is really nice for German, because he's gonna get his shipment right now, I think. And uh, he will have his shipment like 40 seconds. There he is. He already uh, sent two leaders. His deck yeah. looks fairly... Oh, he doesn't have seven skirm in his deck. Uh, um, and he has uh, a Fort Wagon and um, and the Royal Mint card. I don't. I'm not a fan of Royal Mint as German, at least in this map. Uh, I don't know. This map has quite a lot of mines. Yeah, but they are only one hundred, one uh, fifty. Two hundred. Yeah, two hundred. No, oh, it's two thousand. I thought it was one thousand yeah, five hundred. Okay, then it's yeah. not that bad. Um, I think yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> not not the most aggressive deck here, but um, also does not two thousand wood. No, and he has like an old style deck. He does have five um, double soldiers, but let's mm. say the most important cards he has, right? If you go Jagers and and uh, and Black Riders, then you don't really need seven skirm. No, uh, Bobao don't have seven skirm either. But uh, what I like about Bobao's deck, he has thousand had infantry attack in H one. Maybe he will do a double rush. Yeah, maybe. I'm surprised that he doesn't have his all his cards in Fortress, actually. Like, you don't Clearly need 700 food, 700 food, and uh, he, he might um, he might do a double, yeah, you're right. But Kiliardi uh, is insanely far. Oh my god, that was good for Bobao. All the wheels were idle for quite some time. He was yeah. actually 400 uh, food ahead at that time. <laughs> Nah, probably that was because he was queuing more veils. Someone you can't be 400 food ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. They have same queue. He's still 300 food ahead. That's not possible. Yeah, but he did a market chaos. Oh, really? Wow. Then actually, it might be possible. <laughs> and also, he got the shipment so much earlier than. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. But still, uh, but yeah, then, it oh. must be because of the market. Yeah, then but he the age up is not. They are pretty even in the age up. It's like two seconds behind. Yeah, so the it mu he must have had too many vils queued. It's not possible to be so much food behind. Yeah, he was. He is still three. He still. Uh, he was so much behind actually. Okay. In food, but he has more wood though because he has that market. Yeah, and he would have picked up. He didn't even pick up a uh, wood treasure. He shopped everything. What? Where? Yeah. No, we, he shopped one hundred and fifty wood for market and hunting dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. He, uh, there was a eighty wood treasure, but he didn't see it. He Kiljardi is now gonna pick up uh, one fifty coin. This market placement. Yeah. He's going uh, to play aggressive. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Babao is making a TP. No TP mm -hmm. coming up for. Uh, From Kildrardi. But no, he gets so 150 coin. That's yeah. a really good. Trigger. And maybe maybe you'll also see the 80 wood later or the. Yeah, the down in the below. No, that oh, that that's the explorer. I yeah, I also. It's only you. it's only two grizzly bears. Normally it's three. Oh yeah, probably glitched out because of the edge of the map. Yeah. Um. Oh, is it gonna get scouted or? He scouts the villager. He has hunting dogs and pace mine, and he's attacking. 
Uh, we will see a double rush from uh, Giardia, I bet. Actually. <laughs> but he's being scouted by Bobabu, who was also, I think, going for something aggressive, maybe. Oh no, he was hurting there, so he's now sieging it. Um, I think that's bad. He should have he should have built his Rex a bit more hidden, because uh, now Bobabu, Bobabu sees it coming, but still he builds his his barracks his stable right in the way of the barracks. It's so easy for a few doppels or pikes to take it down. Oof, yeah, and I actually, don't like this placement. I don't think it will be doppels. Yeah, I think uh, it will be both again, actually. Yeah, it will be one Rex, pike bow. Yeah, he has the resources is perfect for um, pike bow. Um, this is really scary. Like the first few Olens that come out, five Olens first, they're gonna kill that villager for sure. He's oh, gonna that's really aggressive. That's not often. Uh, but easy. where are his pikes going? Oh my god, his pike. He goes he for a TP. Yeah, but he should have known that at least two Olens will kill this settler wagon. So he should have brought it home or should have left his spikes yeah, there. Yeah, I totally agree. Now, now it's gonna die for sure, and he's gonna kill the TP. But that's gonna take so long, so much time that by that time Bobabu could even be aged or have doppels of his own. I would like uh, Bobabu actually to have this TP down here. Uh, but be <laughs> more far. but this cavalry will will get caught. No, no, no. I think you, it, the hero is snaring. Yeah, uh, the hero is snaring. There yes. was nice micro there by Bobabu. Yeah, true. He got away. Just run. Keep on running, boy. Uh, oh, he's going for a Yulon kill. Oh, he gets ooh, away. With really it. nice. Really Very nice. nice. Get oh, Mike per there from Perfect Bobabu. timing. He's sieging the barracks with uh, three Yulons. Yeah, but more more pikes will come out. I don't think that's a good idea. Mm. Yeah, true. They don't have that much siege in the end. Units in K. Let's let's check what he has in. He has nothing in uh, K actually. So there is not. Is no. He made two pikemen, so there will be there in a while. Yeah. It will take thirty seconds. That TP will not go down. Um, the TP is down there. And Bobabu, uh, I like Bobabu's position here. He is. Uh, oh, even though he sent five five Olens first. He's gonna kill maybe one more. No. No. Oh, um, let that go. Let that go. Come on. Yeah, he has to set that one free, and yeah, he's doing finally. it right now. Uh, but he's not paying attention, and his Olens are getting attacked here by five pikes. He's losing all three of them. Bows are out though by Bobabu, and, and uh, now Kiliardi doesn't pay attention. Yeah. And he's got. He's probably gonna lose the barracks here. These these Olens are more than enough to deal with the pikes, and there are already bows as well, so all the pikes will die. Um, oh. And Kiljardi really not being in a good spot. He's even throwing away his Olens for free. Yeah, that was um, not the best engagement. No, that, that there was no way that they could save that position, and he should have just used them to raid instead of throwing them away. Yeah, he still has five pike pikemen in his uh, base. Yeah, that's good. He needs that to defend the raids. His barracks going up quite. Uh, forward still, I don't like that. He's building two of them. That's More pikes out though, so they they are killing the Olens and now running away. Barracks coming down from Bobabu as well. H2 play. A German, that's not really standard anymore. <laughs> no. Eight bows being sent by Kiljardi. It's uh, weird though that both of them had um, so much. Um, that Kiljardi is still ahead in points. I guess he he sent three settler wagons first, and they still, he and Bobaba only now sending his settler wagons. So he's still two two settler wagons behind. Yeah, he lost. Bobabu, you mean? Yeah. Oh, so Kiljardi sent three and two. I can check. Must be because yeah, he, lost he did a two, three, two settler wagons, yeah, and then and he lost goes. he lost one, so that's why he's two behind. So really greedy play there by Kiljardi, even though he went aggressive as well. <laughs> so ni that's actually nice, and that's probably the only reason why this game is not over yet. Uh, and uh, I think it's quite equal now. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm not sure what... Uh, I think they uh, should try an age now, at least Bobao. Yeah, both. I would like both to see age up, but it seems like... Um, Especially Kiljardi is not getting any coins, so he won't age up anytime soon. He just dropped two barracks. So, so many uh, pikes, so maybe Bobao shouldn't age actually. He needs to get some units to deal with his pike mess. Yeah, but Bobabu doesn't know this, right? No. He hasn't scouted it, so. There it is. Oh, come on, go He's in. He's raiding with all his Olens in one spot. Uh, I don't know if I like that. That's if they kind of all in. It's a big risk to take. It's yeah. like you're playing risky when you ride with all your uh, cav. Sometimes you get rewarded, sometimes you get punished. 
Depends if you're really lucky. He's win. gonna get one, two vils though. Oh, only oh, one. One, almost two. But if you ride, like if you hit this jackpot with uh, a bunch of units, yeah, then it's good. Then, then it's good. But uh, if you <laughs> hit this uh, blackjack with uh, all the reruns, that's not good. Then you're gonna die. It's like that. Oh, poor explorer Hanspart lying here on the floor. Also, I think Kiliardic should uh, maybe use his uh, cab a little bit better. He can try and ride as well. Like, this is quite exposed. Yeah, he can. Um, but he has throughout the game, he has really been throwing away his Allens so far. I think, he, I think he likes his bows and pikemans. Three doubles arrived for um, mm -hmm. Kiliardic, so now it's go time. Yeah, he has to push uh, now before um, Bobabu really can edge. Uh, I would like him to leave. Bobabu only needs 700 coin now, then he's up. I would like a few pikes to leave, be left behind, so um, so he can defend any raids. But other than that, he should push. Taking the treasure, and there <laughs> it is, uh, 700 coin, and he will be up really shortly. Uh, yeah, but I think uh, this is going to be really hard for him to hold this timing push that's coming now from Kiljardi, right? He has like 20 pikes and 3 doppels and 20 bows. Yeah, and he's, uh, he, impossible. he's pushing now and if he pushes uh, Bobabu off his mines, because he's out of mines in his base now, then uh, Bobabu... Oh, he still has this mine. Yeah, but I mean, that those two mines are really exposed. Yeah, they are, but I'm not sure if he scouted it actually. I I think Kiljardi is an experienced player. He will realize um, that 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 that. But he doesn't know the map. Like that's true. He doesn't know the map, but he knows the game, right? Yeah. He knows Bobabu must uh, must hunt somewhere. Yeah. And hunt. He still has one hunt, so that's okay. But, but I like I, I like this uh, by Bobabu now putting everything on wood because he knows he's going to lose his uh, buildings. Yeah. So he can at least make some pikes. No, there is a real big lag here. It looks like it's settled down right now. He needs houses and he needs a shipment. He, need, he badly needs 8 skirm shipment right now. There he's up. Oh, he no, what are you doing with your Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, no, he doesn't have. He's Does halfway he have there. He's halfway there. He can't even upgrade his. Ah, uh, um, that's really bad. He's, he's, he's gonna lose his stable, and that's because he put it in such a bad position, right? And he's gonna lose the barracks too. He's making uh, more houses behind her. I don't think she, he should like, engage yet. He should just be patient. Uh, Kiljardi not going for the barracks. Um, surprised by that. He can take it out really easily. He'll probably go for it now. Oh, he's um, going no, back. he's playing it safe. He's afraid that there will be a shipment, but actually there won't be one. No, not yet. There will be soon. I would like uh, about to sneak he could have killed the TV. barracks yeah. for sure. Um, oh. A bit poor control here on the bows. They are not yeah, all. Yeah, he's going to lose a lot of bows for free. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. No, I think Bobabu is ahead. Like, no, he lost yeah. his bike. So Bobabu no, um, is in it. No, oh, eight skirm is going to come any second now, and uh, Kiliardi is saving a shipment for some reason. I think he's gonna age, right? Yeah, he should age. He has enough. No, he doesn't he still have enough. Has, he still, he still has a lot on wood. So no, maybe no, he can't age. He doesn't have enough to age. I don't know why he has this many on a wood. Oh, I would really like uh, to see again, the location really drop down on a new TP. Again, he has a really random tower. I would have liked it if he had built the towers there and there, or maybe even you know, even here, but he's really, like, random. I know it's to defend against the raids, but... Oh, he's going out on the map now. Uh, well, he has to. Look at these vills. Uh, that's really exposed. <laughs> I think he's fine for now, but Bubao trying to go with the little rider. He's yeah. definitely waiting for a shipment to arrive. It he will be second. denied really hard. Yeah, there it is, 700 coins. So now we. Oh, he hasn't. Kiliardi has only 3 villagers on food. Does he have enough food though? No, 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 no. He has 100 food. How much wood does he have? 100. That's. What's he making that's costing so much wood? He's still making bow pikes, so... It's towers. Uh, he makes towers. Okay. Yeah, he's still spamming. Only one, though. He's spamming bow pike. Yeah. Bubao really needs... Uh, oh, come on, take off, 
take away that cam that gets snared. <laughs> okay, it's gonna get unsnared when it dies, so it's okay. Now skirms are in the mix. I would really like to see uh, veteran mutants, and there it is. The upgrade is coming down, and I don't really like this box dragging. Yeah, both players kind of box. No, actually, only Bobabo. Um, Kiljardi using groups here. Um, but he has a doppels in his pikeman group. That's not too nice, to be honest. Uh, it's only a half speed difference. I think it's okay for the for for because he's defending, right? So it's okay, I think. Oh yeah, they are. Um, I thought they were four speed. They are actually four four fifty. So that's nice. Um, oh, veteran this army incoming. Will, oh, yeah, but this army from from Bobabo will get crushed if he fights here because he has no anti cap. So basically. There's no way for him to defend against these uh, Olens from uh, Kiljardi, and we can see here he can't come too close to the Olens because the pikes will, will and punish, the lag is really punish him. And you are lagging, I think. You have some spike. Yeah, yeah I, I think. Uh, I will leave the game. I think. Okay. Then I'll uh, do the last bit on my own. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yumi had to go there because of lag, and there is. I think the game will be over now because uh, Bubao is uh, misclicking a lot, and the lag is still still there. Amalgation coming down for uh, Kiliardi. Interesting to see this old uh, old school build uh, getting the upper hand on the new build. And now every uh, all his villagers are going to get uh, <laughs> raped on the uh, mine here. Three war wagon, four war wagons pop out. I don't think it's enough. And also nine Yulans. I don't think it's enough. And there is a lot of double zoners. He made like ten double zoners. And he's losing all everything right now. Ten skirms pops out as well. I have no idea why Total Chaos was pushing him. Um, he should just have been defending for a while, since he's one age ahead and had all the tech advantages. Oh, look at the economy bar. And infantry hit points arriving, making the dubs even stronger. Okay, then we will. Oh, I forget to update the uh, scoreboard. Uh, Kiliardi wins this uh, one uh, 2 0, and he will advance to the next round. I, <laughs> it's funny to see like when an old school player gets back and he plays, plays it very differently than the new players do. But it was. It's, it, <laughs> it's still won in the end. I think there will be King of Os